And Representative, I will be afterwards, I'll be reading uh, testimony from one of the family members. Generations down. That'll be starting soon. Right. Uh, any other questions from the committee? If not, I want to thank you both for being here. I think it's uh, uh, good that you were able to see what the process was like. So thank you both for coming. Thank you. We have, um, next up we have Matthew Olmican, and after that we have uh, Ann Watney Stephanie. Oh, I don't want this one? I do want this one. Well, this is the one I'm going to sit in then. Can everybody hear me okay? Welcome. Hey, well, thank you. <laughs> Let's get this started. Um, before I go into my official testimony, 100% um, true, Welcome Dairy is the one that's in the city limits, township limits of Colby, still producing Colby cheese, but it's not just limited to Welcome Dairy. There's also... Um, several alumni that are scattered uh, around the state in the cheese making process. For a point example, um, there's an alumni that graduated class of 02 that is working at Masonville Dairy in Marshfield, Wisconsin. Um, and he sent me a little bit of information saying that that's one of their more popular items besides the delicious squeaky cheese curds. Good day to you all, and thank you for having me here. My name is Matthew Olmican of Colby, Wisconsin. Bill 572 is legislation to make Colby the official state cheese. But that bewilders me because how is Colby cheese not already the state cheese? This isn't right, and I'm here to tell you why we need to get this settled. Let me break it down for you. Wisconsin is known as America's dairy land, and for good reason. Our number one output, after all, of dairy products is cheese. Furthermore, our state is the nation's top producer not just currently, but since 1910. Our cheese is world class. No one makes it better than Wisconsin. That's probably why the nation calls us cheeseheads, right? There are four cities and towns in Wisconsin that have a cheese theme or a nickname, but there is only one that bears the name of an actual cheese, and that is the city and town of Colby. But what makes Colby cheese so special? Colby is Wisconsin's only native cheese. That's right, it's our own original recipe. All the other cheeses we produce so well and so much of were someone else's idea. Colby is the only cheese that Wisconsin came up with on its own, and it was from my little hometown. Joseph Steinwein, back in the late 1880s, came up with the cheese. He wanted to have the robust flavor like cheddar, but without the dry texture of cheddar. And that's what he made, a cheese that was soft, moist, and flavorful. And that is what made Colby cheese so popular. It's like what we say back up in Colby, it's better than cheddar. Right? <laughs> a little over a mile north of our family farm is where Steinwan established the Colby Cheese Factory, which operated for decades up until the 1990s. My dad, the town chairman of Colby, still remembers being 15 years old in 1968, lifting and loading milk after chores into the back of a pickup truck and hauling it up to the cheese factory. On the corner of Highline and Cheese Factory Road is a hollow ground of Wisconsin dairy history. And in downtown Colby, a state historical marker mortalizes the story of how Colby changed the cheese game. You can't get any more Wisconsin than Colby cheese. The best state deserves the best representation, an original representation. So many official state items are often duplicated and have no originality. For instance, did you know that the American Robin is shared by three states including Wisconsin. This is an opportunity to have an icon, a symbol that no other state will ever have. If I come off passionate over something seemingly as small and important, such as cheese, it's because of my enduring love and my pride for my hometown and our beloved state. Colby cheese is more than just cheese. It is a representation of all that is best about being a Wisconsinite. The cheese came from a small community, just like those that dot the state's landscape from border to border. A community that was built by the callous hands and strong backs of dairy farmers and built by those who dared to dream bigger than their city borders. And that's what it's all about. With this bill, you are building an identity, solidifying our culture and heritage of being America's dairy land. 
and recognizing those who move forward, just like our state model. This is about having pride in our state of Wisconsin. Having state pride develops great citizens, leaders, and businesses. People can be proud of this great state that shaped who they are. Please take action and declare Colby Cheese as an official state symbol that is 100% authentic Wisconsin for our farmers, our leaders, communities, and most importantly, future generations. Thank you so much for taking the time to hear my testimony. God bless Wisconsin, and I will be happy to take any questions at this time. Well, thank you. I love your passion. Thank you. Uh, Representative Edmain first, and Curly next. Thank you. thank you for your testimony. Oh, thanks. You say that this word, was this cheese factory just north of your family farm? It was. It's about a little over a mile. No, it, so if I understood you correctly, there's some kind of a, a marker that signifies this is where... So the Say Historical Marker is in downtown Colby, which talks about Colby cheese. But the cheese factory, which is a funny story... It is no longer standing. All that it remains is the concrete floor. So what happened was several years ago, the building started becoming into disrepair. And my dad started a writing campaign in the Wisconsin Historical Society to recognize it as a historical building. The letters went unreplied. And due to its disrepair and position of where it was on the intersection, the building had to get removed or remodeled. So the building is no longer standing. So if I can um, ask a hypothetical question. Sure. Would, would it be possible that the residents of Colby could erect some kind of a sign on that piece of property with a picture of what the old building looked like and this is where Colby cheese got started? You know, that's funny too. About uh, six years ago, I had a conversation with uh, a gentleman named Dennis Keeling and he has all the photographs of when it was built and then when it was its concrete structure. And we talked about that same thing. Why can't there be something established there to showcase it? Um, one drawback would be is that even though it's a short, quick jaunt off of Highway 13, you almost wonder how often it's going to get visited if we didn't have enough signage on Highway 13 to lead them there. So, but it is a, it is a special place that is rooted not just in that community but through the dairy farmers around the area and yeah it's it deserves more than just being a blank concrete slab that's for certain representative brewing uh, thank you i love your passion oh thanks but i think to really make this authentic so there's a year she's made three different types of cheeses white bowls and it's so if you don't mind i'm gonna interrupt you there um 48 hours ago, I asked if I should bring a sample of cheese for the egg committee here. But um, due to uh, you guys kind of have your rules and regulations, and I didn't want to have anything that uh, ethically was tenuous in your position to, uh, to present you with that cheese. But I was totally going to do that. Well, I was going to suggest we could all give you a dollar for it. That we would, we would, so we wouldn't violate your ethics. We really have a true test. So. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I'll I'll make that happen for you. I'll get some cheese down here for you guys. Thank you. Representative Crown has a question. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, like my colleagues, I appreciate your passion, so I feel like you might be an appropriate person to ask this question. So mm -hmm. I'm going to switch gears a little bit. How do you think uh, Mr. Steinwand or the people of Colby would feel if uh, we started making Colby cheese with almond juice or some other type of synthetic <laughs> liquid as opposed to dairy milk? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think there'd be a little bit of, of flabbergast and probably be rolling in his grave. <laughs> that was a good question, thanks. <laughs> Any other questions? Thank you very much. Um, just one last adder. Sure. This wasn't just limited to, you know, just our, our community here. Um, in case you haven't seen, I did a YouTube video uh, talking about the breakdown of Colby cheese and why it should be the state cheese. And I also have that on social media as well. I was contacted by 
a family over um, outside of the state, and it was the great great grandson of Joseph, and they wanted to to say hi and voice their uh, their support for this bill. And it came all the way from New Jersey, which was kind of flattering. But this is not just within the state of Wisconsin, because Wisconsinites are everywhere, and they're devotedly proud of their heritage and. That Colby cheese represents the best of all of us. So, thank you. Yep, thank you. The final uh, registered person to speak is uh, Ann Watkins. And then, if anyone else who wants to speak, just go to the forum. I'm not Ann from my. Oh, wow. Oh, I got a high five from uh, a senator. Hey, thanks. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm going to read my mother's testimony. 